Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and we're to say Happy Halloween, which is, I'm releasing this a day early, so you can feel free to watch this to give it a feel of watching on Halloween. But yeah, so I'll just give my say Happy Halloween to everybody already. And this has been a good, this one I'll say has been a good Halloween month of a lot of good reviews, I would say. And just getting to the final one is for the perfect, uh, a very, a, a good perfect Halloween film to watch on Halloween. And it's a it's a great it's a great horror film themed Halloween film, and that is Trick or Treat. I've wanted to review this uh, for a while, but never got around it. Great Halloween film, let alone great anthology film. It was originally um, the the initial release was supposed to be two thousand seven, which I'm putting it as it is as two thousand seven, marking its tenth anniversary, and but it was released. Problems. It was released direct to video two years later in two thousand nine. I don't think it deserves to be direct to video. I think it was given should be given a proper um release uh proper release release in theaters. And Michael Dowry, who directed this film, who going to direct Krampus, and then he said to direct uh, Godzilla: King of the Monsters for twenty nineteen. He did a great job with directing this film. Um. Also, as a um, he's also a writer. He helped um. It was he? Well, not only he wrote this film though, but also it was what directed. He wrote on X Men Two, X Men Apocalypse, and Superman Returns. Because it helped with, collaborate with Brian Singer, who helped who directed uh, who directed the for X Men One and Two, but he didn't direct. Yeah, actually, he did. Yeah, he did uh, direct um, uh, X Men Apocalypse. Yeah, so collaborate with uh, and Superman Returns. So collaborate with Brian Singer, who he produced this film. I really enjoy the film. It's a great horror film to watch on Halloween. Um, I thought it was a, as a, I, I enjoy the premise of of this Halloween, this town that cel uh, that really enjoys celebrating Halloween somewhere in Ohio. And you meet, and I thought it has a good cast of characters. Um, and which one of them had? Which one? Um, which one of them is uh, Dylan Baker, who plays um, um, from 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 Sam Raimi's Spider-Man films, who was supposed to be playing the Lizard, um, Doctor, uh, Doctor, uh, yeah, do yeah, Doctor Connors, who plays the who was supposed to play the Lizard, he plays he he plays in here as a school principal named um, Stephen Wilkins. You also have Anna Paquin who play for playing Rogue and X Men, um, and Brian Cox, which I enjoy. Brian Cox, um, he's in this as well. Um, I and and I like the uh, it isn't like show. It, it is one story. It's all it's all an anthology, but all the stories are all connected. Like it isn't like oh this is one story, then cut away. No, it, it's all it, all connected together. Like which I'll get into though, but. I like it's all intertwined, which, uh, which I'm talking we'll get you right now. But um, I really enjoy the film. But despite not being released in theaters, it did get it did get a lot of praise. It's an 82 percent Rotten Tomatoes, decent rating on 6.8 on IMDb. I have to give much higher. And they're trying to they're trying to get a sequel in the works, which I would like to see a sequel to this. And they're also trying to build that to this and uh, Krampus are all in the same universe as well, which I which I. Like I like to see like that that this stuff and in, in the same universe with Krampus because that's the word because I think with Michael Dougherty was trying to build like this and Krampus are in the same universe. But I like to see a sequel as well, Trick or Treat Two. Um. But as as, as the as the film opens up, we have this couple, um, this girl who's dressed as a robot. She does not like Halloween, and. She blows out this pumpkin, which her husband says, you know, don't blow it out. It's ancient tradition. And she goes like, oh, it's Halloween, not Halloween. She blows it out. And you have our viewpoint of our of our character named Sam, this orange footsies and burlap sack. <laughs> um, and she, she, she wants to take down all the decorations, and then she gets killed with... Uh, Lo pumpkin lollipop like a jagged edge and stabs her 
And then when her husband comes back out, she's all like hung up with a thing in her mouth and gruesome, really good, good, gru uh, gruesome looking de uh, aftermath of a death. And, but, and, which, that's this the beginning, but, which I'll, I'll get to all that. And then we get introduced to our characters. You have this, uh, our, prin our school principal, Stephen Wilkins, played by Dylan Baker. He has, he sees his kid trying to take all the candy, which this kid is, is the, the one from Bad Santa, which also appeared in the sequel as well, which, never saw it though, but, that was supposed to be him from Bad Santa. And he's talking to, um, Dylan Baker, but then, you get a really good bloody scene where he, he coughs up all this, uh, blood slash chocolate up, like, blah, it's a mixture of blood and chocolate, and, which the guy had poisoned the candy, and he killed him, and he was gonna bury him in the backyard, and in this hole, and it's, and it's get a little, you get, you get some good humor too, black humor, because he gets getting inter interrupted, where first it's his son, and then, um, his neighbor, Brian Cox, played by, um, uh, Brian Cox as Mr. Krieg, um, and he, there was there was also another body in the in the ground too, because it gives it a shut up, with a shovel. And his son's like, "Oh, it was a carpet jack o' lantern," and he has a knife. We think he's gonna stab the kid, but he's not. It's actually the severed head of the kid Charlie. And then we cut to another part of our story where we have these. Well, it's like it's all intertwining, but it's all. Uh, same story, like, it goes to Anna Pack, one of his sisters, um, dressing up, like, Anna Pack was a little red riding hood, and as they're walking, they bypass the girl wearing the robot costume that was killed at the beginning of the film, because that part is later. So it's like, it's like, like that, how it's all connected with the, the, uh, the stories of our characters in different segments, but it's all connected together, like, they just bypass them on the street, and... And then it cuts to with uh, one part where the, these kids, that are, um, that uh, these 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 kids that was talking to uh, Mr. Wilkins earlier, well, trick or treating, of course, because when he's bringing in the body, these kids say trick or treat. They're cuts with those kids now, and they take this girl named Rhonda, kind of like her front yard is covered with with jack o' lanterns. Tells her to come because um, they have, they have this thing where they're bringing jack o' lanterns to go to this cliff where there's these um, the death of the, there's a school bus or years like thirty years ago there was a school bus carrying these um, disturbed children which their parents are embarrassed by them they didn't want to do with them so they paid the driver to go to uh, out off route to drop them off the cliff basically and he was giving the candy but one kid. Mentally disturbed, like he was like he he was like earlier he was like counting the address numbers and he's like wrong way wrong way home I want to go home and he goes and takes the wheel but he doesn't know how to drive he drives straight off the cliff but um, the driver he survived so now the kids they're going down there to to go down where there's a, which is a rock quarry so there's an elevator three of them go down first but then the other two go down. Then we find out it was all one cruel prank against this 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 um girl Rhonda, which ends up she ended up uh, tripping and falling and knocking her out. Which one kid um, I think his name is um Schrader. He felt he feels a little bit sorry for the girl, but um, but um, but the zombie kids of those kids from the school bus they come up. And they drag one girl away, and the girl Rhonda, she gets in the elevator, and she just leaves, she she leaves the kids there to die, and she's like waving bye-bye to them. I was like, yeah, because, well, yeah, except for the one kid who was still was sorry, though, but the other, but still, I guess not, though, but she's waving bye-bye to all of them, and you hear them kill off screen, but you hear their screams, and it's implied, though. And the, the girl walking, holding her one jack o and still lit. And throughout this whole film, you see our character, Sam, like, with the the flat that the story, telling the story of the school bus, you see Sam on the side of the road. Or, when Sam sees the girl, he goes and walks on. And then we get to our next story, which is, um, 
Well, earlier you saw Sammy who was standing on the front porch with Mr. Wilkins getting uh, getting a candy bar as well. And but then the next story with uh, Anna Paquin, where where before because the, earlier there was a guy in black like supposedly a vampire who killed a woman. That the, the man in black the, she's walking on woods to go to this where her sisters are at with her dates. You know you should get you need to get one on your own. This is supposed to be her first time because she's a virgin. And she's walking her on the way there by herself, but she gets attacked by the man in black with the fangs. But then the body drops and it looks like the red uh, riding on Alpha though, but it's that guy in black. And it reveals to be Stephen Wilkins, the principal, Dylan Baker. And then you got Marilyn Manson's song of Sweet Dreams playing, which is that song was in the trailer for Wrath of the Titans. It reveals that they're all werewolves. And how they're, and it was like, well done effects. I really enjoy the effects. Like, they're like ripping off their flesh or the skin. Like, they're wearing them as, like, as, you know, costumes, I guess, because they're werewolves underneath. Really well done effects. Cool, good looking werewolf effects. I really enjoyed that. And Anna Paquin, she's transforming, and Dylan Baker, he's looking. Who are you people? And then he's screaming, and he's like, ah. And then the song ends with Anna Paquin biting into. Um, Dylan Baker. And you see you have the character Sam just sitting there watching. And then it cuts to earlier in the movie because with Brian Cox as Mr. Cree, this happens earlier. Like the same, It's the same time when Dylan Baker killed that kid and he's burying the body. This happens during this same time. So, Brian Cox as Mr. Cree, he's, he doesn't like Halloween. He's burning some pictures. And he scares some kids with his, with his dog. Which I think it was those those same those same kids that saw that um, the girl getting killed by um, Sam who hated Halloween. They all run away. They're there, but they get spooked again by his dog. And he doesn't like Halloween. He just goes and takes their candy, <laughs> and he hears something, and then he gets his bad, which just goes through this part of the same part where he when. He goes to the fence where he's talking to Dylan Baker when he's having the body in the ground. He from his it's from his perspective, and he goes back in the house and he hears another voice. He thinks it's more kids, and he goes outside. His whole front yard is covered with jack o' lanterns, and then he hears I think his dog. I think his dog it, hears his dog squeal. So he think he killed. I think his dog got killed. He goes upstairs to his room, and his room is full covered, you know, with bloodied up uh, letters of words, like trick or treats and stuff. And then Sam pops up. He stabs him in the leg, and he's like, "Ooh!" He tries to shoot it. He runs. He tries to run away. He falls down the stairs, covered with candy and razor blades. And he tries to unlock the door. Sam's on top of the ceiling, jumps down on him, and he's there struggling, and rips his mask, his his sack off, which is a well done effect as well. Good looking of like a skeleton like face with a pumpkin head. And I was like, hey, it's a different kind of version of a pumpkin head. He's screaming. He um uh he starts biting his leg, but then he shoots him. And when he shoots him, it's like pumpkin guts. Well done, good effects. And I like when he just his his way to the thing to jump up by again. He starts shooting it for just in case for good measure. Tries to call the police. But the hand like unplugs it and it's like seeing, like it stabs him in the foot and he's like he like he sees the hand walking he's like, you have to fucking kidding me, <laughs> and he sees the uh, put the hand back together and he's like oh no, and puts he puts them his sack back on and he gets the the lolly the pumpkin lollipop bites it and gets the jagged edge, and he stabs he tries to attempt to stab him but stabs the chocolate bar yeah, that's what he wanted. And then he just goes and walks out of his house. And then comes to the fireplace where he's burning his picture. It's revealed that he was the bus driver that drove those, that drove the kids off the cliff. And then it comes to later, which is the aftermath of all of our stories. Mr. Creek, he gives candy because now he appreciates the Halloween. He needs to do the Halloween stuff. So he gives the candy to some, to some kids. And then he sees, he sees Sam. And then he sees the girl, the kid Rhonda, with her jack o' lantern, and then he almost getting hit by Anna Paquin, the girls in their car, and the kid, 
uh, Dylan Baker's kid wearing like his outfit, looking like him, giving candy out. And then, then this is what now it comes to like the opening of the movie where he's where Sam sees the girl blow up the jack lantern and goes towards her now. And when uh, Brian Cox shows the door, hears another knock and opens up, it's the zombified kids from the school bus. And it cuts to uh, comic book images of him getting killed. And I like that. And I like the score too during the creds as well. I enjoy the score by um, Douglas Pipes. I like the score to the. I like the score to this as well. So yeah, and it's a very short film. It's only before without end creds. It's under eighty minutes. Very short film. I really enjoyed the movie. It's a great Halloween film to watch. I like the cast as well. I like Dylan Baker, who was good, and Paquin same was good as well. Same with Brian Cox. Um, great effects, good practical effects, like the werewolves was the best effects of the film. The pumpkin head of Sam, good effects as well. Fair amount of blood and gore, like the kid Charlie puking out chocolate blood as well. It was a great blood effect. A little bit of black humor with uh, Dylan Barry keeps in game inter interrupting when he's trying to get the rear of the bodies. Um, the soundtrack, the, the, the song by Marilyn Manson of Sweet Dreams I like. This is a great. This is such a great Halloween film as well. This is a great film to watch for, and especially an anthology film. If they do get the sequel to be made, I would look forward to seeing that. And just and me watching this, I'm trying to compare it because I've seen Krampus. Because the guy knows I do some good practical effects as well. Krampus has some good practical effects too. Hoping we if he makes Godzilla, hopefully we'll see some practical effects because otherwise it goes against what this guy has done with trick or treating Krampus. Starting to be trying, I'm trying to imagine this is this the same universe with Krampus. So that's what I'm trying to build. I know they said they want that being the same universe, but I'm trying to imagine it being. But yeah, he, Michael Dower he did a great job with the film. Um, the cast, the score, effects, gore, the whole premise on Halloween. I really enjoyed it. Trick or Treat is I think it's a great hollow, great ha Halloween film to watch. And I would definitely give it two thumbs up. Great Halloween film to watch. So yeah. So that's the, so that's my review for Trick or Treat. Ho my Halloween review of Trick or Treat. I would say once again, Happy Halloween because well, you can watch this on the why well, releasing this a day early, but you can watch it on Halloween. That's me saying this. Happy Halloween. And trick-or-treat as well but yeah I really enjoyed this film and I'm, I'm glad this has a fall, call following because this should have been released in theaters not direct to DVD but yeah but thanks for watching and stay tuned for more reviews and that's and that puts an end to another good review of during the Halloween month thanks for watching and see you next time once again happy Halloween 2017 later